Beretta M9A3 CO2 gas blowback pistol made by Umrux. The original Beretta 92 was commissioned in 1985 to the American military to change away from their massive stock of World War II firearms, guns like the 1911. The M9A3 was an updated version commissioned in 2015, but lost its contract in 2018. It was lighter than the 92 due to its plastic construction and was designed for changes in modern warfare. The pistol is 250 millimeters long and weighs 850 grams, unloaded. It is a dual action trigger, 22 round magazine, and like the US version, this is not a fully automatic gun, unfortunately. Hi, welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, it's 2024. Uh, this is the first posting I've done this year. Bit lame. Sorry, it's been a bit of a while. Got something new for you today. Got this. It's the Carl 98. <laughs> this was a present uh, for uh, for Christmas for me. It's uh, it's a little Carl 98 keyring, which is great, but. I don't have keys that big and I certainly don't have pockets that big. Ask anyone in the pub. No, I'm just joking. We're not really doing that. We're doing this. <laughs> no, we're not doing that either. Just joking. So over the years, I've uh, accumulated quite a few guns, uh, quite a few of these and a few of these, but not one of these. This is my first time into the lands of a Beretta uh, and I've really wanted one for a long time. This is the Beretta M9A3. Uh, this is in the uh, dark tan color. And as I say, this is my first Beretta. I've wanted one of these for quite a long time. Um, rattles a bit, doesn't it? And now we've got one. So quick look around the box, picture of what it is. Also, you're gonna see that in a minute. Um, and the price, £150. Side here is just that it's made by Umrix. Some shooting guidelines, and then a bit about the gun, which I showed you, but also it's a blowback, it's a BB gun, and other interesting stuff. So let's get rid of the box, let's get rid of these, and let's get into this. So inside here, open up, small instruction, actually quite a big instruction pad, nicely coloured as well, also in different languages, just giving you information about how to load a gun, how to fire it, how to shoot safely, troubleshooting, and how to aim the gun, very important. Okay, so you have the gun itself and some jangly bits. You have an Allen key. This is obviously because this is a gas uh, blowback a CO2 uh, gun, so you need to be able to change the cartridge on there. You also get a bag of BBs, which clearly I've um, taken out and consumed already. Nothing else in there? Let's get rid of that. I said it before, I love it when a gun comes in a bag. It makes it feel, for some reason, real. There it is, the Beretta. Interesting regards to the colour. Um, I know that most of them come in in dark. This is because this is the M9 version, um, which obviously I gave you the spiel about uh, at the beginning of the video. So 
obviously the 92 um, is slightly different to this. Um, I don't have one, as I say, because this is my first Beretta. But the 92 is slightly different in regards to usually it's black, it's not a tan. Um, as I said earlier, this is for modern warfare. All right, well, let's have a look around this gun. Um, and see what you think. So my understanding um, of the differences on these guns are this one is a mainly polymer body with a metal slide to the top. You have a you have your safety on the top here. Now understand uh, on the Beretta this is a decocking. That is not the case on this one. This is a safety which enables you and stops you from being able to shoot. Uh, to to de decock the gun is like so. This is a double action, so you can either shoot it from there or pull your trigger back and, and take it from there. The M3 uh, has a different grip to the uh, the non Beretta. It's a different sort of checkering on there, and it's also slightly slimmer. You have very similar to the top. This is the same as uh, as a normal Beretta. As I said, the safety is different on here. Sights are the same. You have two whites. You have the white sights on there to make it better or easier to uh, to aim as well. This gun is a metal top slide and in a metal outer barrel uh, with an inner barrel there as well. Other differences on here, again, you've got this checkering on the back and on the front of the handle. The trigger is exactly the same as the, uh, the Norm Beretta, although the magazine release is slightly larger on this version. Here you've got your, met your metal slide back which obviously locks the gun back into place, uh, which is released from there. This is your takedown, uh, which I'm sure if you're familiar with the Beretta, then um, you'll know, uh, but I can show you that anyway. And that's, you have to push this button in, rotate it, we'll go through that. You've got a, a rail underneath on this one. This is um, saying that this is unique to these ones, the other Berettas don't have that. And this enables you to be able to mount your Accessorizing, <laughs> you're not going to put that on there, but I'm just showing you. Obviously, this is for your laser or what have you want to put on there. This is quite interesting as well because um, the handguard on here has a slight change. It kind of stops short, and that's so that this fits. It will be able to sit all the way flush up to your handguard. Nice. As I said before, magazine is released from here. Uh, and it's a 22 plus one in the chamber uh, rounds on there. Uh, and it's accessed by a gas tube or CO2 tube from the bottom. This is unlike the American version because the American version has a little switch on there which puts this to a full automatic. Uh, this version is purely Sony Semi. Going forward again, you've got your shroud on the front, which has got your 14 millimeter um, clockwise thread on there, which is unusual, I think, because most of the um, things are anti-clockwise. But this enables you to put something like this on. It kind of changes the gun slightly. It makes it look a bit pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a very light gun. Um, and it sits really comfortably in the hand. It's, uh, it feels nice. I love the look of it. Obviously, you've got the cutout at the top, which isn't on the normal Beretta again, because this was obviously meant to be a light, uh, a lightweight version. I don't know about silences on, um, on pistols. Uh, I think the silence on there, it has no effect regards to the sound of the, uh, the gun. Uh, but in fact, what it does is it draws the gun down slightly and can also mean that it's unaligned. The other thing which is interesting is that once the silence is on there, <laughs> you can't aim it. That's a bit of a problem. Without the uh, magazine in there, actually it feels very light. 150 grams all um, with the magazine in. The magazine is also a full metal magazine. Ah. The gun has got its trademarks, which is a uh, Beretta USA Corp on the side there with their logo. 
You've also got then the uh, 20 millimeter. It also has you the unique serial number um, and then the six millimeter BB on the side. On the other side, you've got uh, your trademarks, which is mod M9A3, caliber nine millimeter, para patented, which is prevalent to what the gun really would be. Underneath it's saying, warning, read manual before use, Beretta trademarking by Beretta Italy. Yeah. As I said, the pistol is 250 millimeters long and weighs 850 grams. Okay, I'm fairly sure we all know how to load a magazine, but let's have a look at it anyway. So, magazine on here, you've got your Allen key. Just loosen this up. Put your retaining bolt out. There's your CO2. Also, get your new capsule. I like to dip a, a bit of silicon oil on the top there. Just keeps the gun lubricated and keeps it fresh. And then tighten it again until you hear the gas leaking. Let's hope it's not leaking. To load your BBs, you can pull this back and it locks back on the bottom here. You do need to um, to have fingernails um, or very strong nails or something to uh, to wedge it in. This then gives you the hole so you can then load your BBs inside. So you can see from this, it's a double stack magazine. So that gives you 22 bullets, and say so one potentially chambered in there as well. Which currently there isn't. Okay, so I guess the thing to do next is to take this out. Let's see if we can get some targeting with it um, and find out how it shoots, put it through the chrono um, and come back here for conclusions. Okay, so let's do a takedown of the Beretta. So, first of all, magazine release. So first thing you wanna do is to undo this. And by doing that, you need to swivel this round, but it's attached by this little bolt, which is released by this button here. Okay. Okay. So this is your lower, you've got your pistol grip where your magazine um, well is there, uh, your trigger set. We obviously don't need this. Okay. So first thing we need to do is to take the spring guide out. Like so. Your spring guide is actually got two springs two separate springs on here and it locks into place using this little hub here if you want to you can slide that off to be able to clean this okay so let's take the barrel out okay so this is your metal slide and you've got your loading, loading nozzle on here with your two springs. So this is your outer barrel, the inner barrel on the side there, and then you've got your hop-up chamber, which is adjusted via this side lever. And that's why it's easier to take this apart to, uh, to be able to adjust your hop-up. Your hop-up's in there. And this part here, is where that will sit inside. Okay. Let's 
put this back together. So it's quite greasy, but um, it's because obviously it's the best way to keep the gun. So your barrel back inside, it sits in, spring guide back through here. Connecting back into position. And your lower slides back on. Rack it back. Voila. Take down. Another English summer, as you can see, it's pretty awful here. It's been raining constantly. Uh, we've got nothing but mud and chickens. You can see what uh, my garden's like at the moment. <laughs> it's an absolute quagmire. So I think what we're going to do today is uh, just do the shooting from here on the patio uh, with a chrono. And then what I've done is I've set up a table just over there, which is about 15, 20 foot. Uh, so we'll do a target shooting on there and some cans as well. So here you can see why it's always a good idea to check your audio device because mine went on standby. So I'm sorry about that. What I'm basically saying is that uh, 15 shots in, uh, so uh, what I missed five. You can see the size of the target, about the size of my hand. Hi, welcome back. So the Beretta M9. What are my thoughts, conclusions? Um, the first thing is I'm going to take the magazine out because it's got gas in it now. I like it. Um, there's not many airsoft guns that I've said that I don't like, and this one is not going to fall into that category. It's it's comfortable. It's it feels great. Uh, the chronograph was uh, a little bit disappointing coming up to what 280. Um, I'd expect with it being a gas gun, it was more closer to 300, 320. But there you go. Um, I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. It's really comfortable. When you shoot it, it's very comfortable to hold. It doesn't feel like it moves around too much. Uh, you saw on the chrono when, when it was close up, it's got a bit of a jolt to it. Um, I was a bit disappointed with the target, target work because um, I had a few flyers. I had five misses. I'm going to put that down not to be me. Uh, I'm going to put that down to the gun just kind of shooting off slightly. Um, that said, I'm really pleased I've got it. It's a really nice looking gun. It's a beautiful looking gun. 
um, and it's comfortable and it shoots kind of well a bit of work on it but um really nice if you're thinking about buying one get one so thank you very much for getting to the end of another one of my videos congratulations there are better ways of spending your days i'm sure guys i'd like to thank you very much uh another video and you guys are amazing i'd like to thank you uh, especially you because uh, you've made all the way to the end of the video uh, the channel's growing uh, daily really uh, we're up to 650 or just come to 650 subs I know that's small, still a, a very small channel but guys thank you very much if you've watched all the way to the end of this uh, then thank you if you're new to the channel please press the sub button uh, press the thumbs up press the uh, the bell press anything just press any just press any button you like just just press them all guys it's amazing uh thank you very much thank you for watching the video and i'll see you on the next one i've got something uh, a bit of special i got an uzi nine millimeter thanks for watching